Tom, we're nearing the end of the course, and at this point, we're reviewing the six basic troubleshooting steps that an IT support agent typically follows. So first, you know, state the problem, then specify the problem, uh, develop possible causes from your knowledge and experience or distinction and changes that have occurred, then test possible causes against the specification, uh, determine the most probable cause, and finally, verify your assumptions observe, experiment, and try to fix or monitor the issue. So let's go back to the start. Once you've stated the problem and you know what is malfunctioning, you then must specify the problem, which is basically redefining the problem by specifying how it's malfunctioning. So can you speak a little bit about what specifying the problem entails? Yeah, that's, that is an interesting uh, question also. Um, so when I think about you know, um, when, I, when I've worked a case and, I, and I'm getting towards the end and I need to uh, lay out what, what we did. So I talk about the uh, issue. And then the middle piece is that cause. And then, of course, the last one's going to be the resolution. Now, the cause can be very, very, very challenging um, to, to um, find a, you know, a root cause analysis for. Um, back when I first started out, this would be the, the Excel days. People would come in with an Excel workbook and it would be corrupt. And they would ask, um, wh why, why is this corrupt? And there was this uh, um, older gentleman who, who was a mentor of mine. He had been supporting Excel for tw 20 years. And I would come to him with these um, cor corruption workbook cases. And I would ask him, like, how can we tell the customer what happened? And he would give this really funny story about um, Imagine a car leaving from Dallas, where he was located, up to Fargo, where I'm located, and somewhere along the way, they got a flat tire. You know, he, there, there's some things that you, you, can, you can point out. Like, we know it's a flat tire, we know it's a corrupt workbook, um, but how and, and when that tire became flat or that workbook became corrupt um, is sometimes impossible. And that's a difficult message to, to deliver. Now there are other um, situations where you know I can set up a a virtual machine and with the exact same environment that, that that they're using, and I can try to reproduce what they did and 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 um, an intern experience the same outcome. Then I can actually deliver the cause to that. Um, but yeah, that, that's that is one of the more difficult areas as a support agent is is really um, defining what caused it to break. So why is it necessary to develop multiple causes from your knowledge and experience? Well, um, many customers, they want to know what did I do and how can I prevent it from happening in the future so, it doesn't, so they don't have more downtime. So it, it, it's really important to do, um, do, do your best to try to figure out um, you know, what, what the cause was. Because there's times where you can get lucky and you can just fix it and you have no idea why. Well, that's not helpful to the customer. The customer needs to know, well, you know, why, why was this broken? Um, so to, to help them in the future and to teach them, it's really important to um, identify the root cause. Okay, so my last question for you on this topic is, how can the support agent test possible causes against the specification? Yep, um, it's uh, you know setting up a lab very similar to their environment, which can be difficult because many customers have l large farms. They have um, you know security hardened environments, so those repros can be very very difficult to do. But um, more times than not, you know you you can set up a virtual machine or a farm similar to theirs, and um, you know it, at times that they've maybe applied an update. And if you go through those same steps, you may be able to re reproduce um, the issue that, that they encountered. So um, that's really um, your best option is to um, try to replicate their environment and the steps they did which caused this uh, issue to occur.